टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्यूंग थीरी इन प्रॉबिलिटी एंड स्टैटिस्टिक्स सो लेट अस डिस्कस व्हाट इज मेंट बाय ए क्यू फर्स्ट सो लेट अस कंसीडर ए हॉस्पिटल इन विच द पेशेंट्स आर वेटिंग इन ए क्यू दिस इज द फर्स्ट पेशेंट दिस इज द सेकंड पेशेंट थर्ड फोर्थ दिस यू कॉल इट एज ए क्यू नेक्स्ट यू कम अक्रॉस विद अंदर वह कॉन्सेप्ट देर शुड बी ए डॉक्टर इन ए हॉस्पिटल विच ही ट्रीट्स द दीज पेशेंट्स सो दिस यू कॉल इट एज ए सर्वर हियर सो सर्वर इज नथिंग बट हियर इट इज ए डॉक्टर इन ए हॉस्पिटल यू कॉन्सिडर इट एज ए डॉक्टर हु ट्रीट्स द पेशेंट्स सो दिस इज द क्यू एंड दिस इज द सर्वर ओके दट एंड वन मोर थिंग lambda lambda is nothing but arrival rate of the patients new is nothing but the service rate of the doctor okay lambda is the arrival rate let us consider for an hour 10 patients are coming inside the hospital that you calculate that is denoted by lambda that is nothing but lambda is equal to 10 patients per hour let us consider mu as 9 patients per hour means the doctor treats the patients 9 at per hour lambda is arrival rate of the patients mu is nothing but service rate of the doctor that is nothing but 9 patients per hour 10 patients are coming and 9 patients are going outside of the hospital per an hour this entire concept is called the system this entire concept is are called the system next we come across the q discipline in q discipline we come across the first in first out what is meant by first in first out next we come across the first in last out f i l o first in last out so let us consider an example this is the q of a ticket counter in a railway station let us consider here is the first person second third first this is the person that enters the queue first so he will get the ticket and comes out that you call it as the first in first out the person who enters the first in the queue will come outside that is called the first in first out next you come across the first in last out those who will enter the first will be lost out let us consider this bangle let us consider this bangle is handed to the lady first this is the second bangle handed third bangle fourth bangle and fifth bangle so this first bangle when you come across, get outside of the hand when the all these four are outside of the hand so this first bangle will be out only after the entire bangles are out therefore the first bangle is first in the last out this is the first in but last out so this is called the q discipline this is called the q discipline similarly you come across the q behavior what is meant by q behavior let us consider this is a q 1 2 3 4 patients are waiting in a hospital and a customer a patient didn't enter into the queue and just went away that is called the balking okay he didn't enter into the queue and just went away that is called the balking next you come across with the ranging what is meant by ranging means let us check a person waits in the queue in a cinema queue let us consider in a cinema theater ticket counter we have a queue the person waits up to half an hour and due to impatience he quits the queue then you call it as a renaging okay what is meant by jockeying let us have three queues are there this is the first queue here is one ticket counter is there and the ticket counter second ticket counter is there let us consider third ticket counter is there suppose in a railway station we have the three counters 
to issue the tickets a person from the first first queue he jumps to the second queue and again from he jumps from the second queue to third queue this type of moving a person from one queue to another queue is called jockeying okay this you call it as a queue behavior in queue behavior you come across with balking ranging and jockeying here you come across with the one more term traffic intensity row it is represented by row what is meant by traffic intensity means let us consider 10 customers are coming inside the hospital and 9 customers are leaving the hospital per hour 10 customers are coming inside the hospital per hour and 10 customers are leaving the hospital per hour so that means only one customer remains in the hospital per hour okay that that notation or that uh, mathematical collocation is denoted by rho that is nothing but lambda by mu lambda is arrival rate mu is the service rate that is denoted by rho rho is equal to lambda by mu ls length of the system ls means nothing but the length of the system formula is rho by 1 minus rho rho by 1 minus rho lq length of the q length of the q means ls minus q ls minus rho what is the difference between length of the system and the length of the q length of the system means four persons are waiting in the q and one person is being treated by the doctor that means total five customers are in the system in the system that you come across with ls length of the queue means 1 2 3 4 4 members are waiting in the queue that you call it the length of the queue next you come across with the average waiting time of a customer in the system ws ws stands for the waiting time of a customer in the system that is ls by lambda similarly waiting time of a customer in the queue that is equal to wq lq by lambda p naught that means zero number of customers in the system p naught means zero number of customers in the system one minus rho n number of customers in the system p power n is nothing but rho power n into p naught okay rho power n into p naught these are the main formulas 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 formulas next you consider one problem a self-service canteen employs one cashier at its counter eight customers arrive per every 10 minutes on an average that means lambda is equal to 8 by 10 customers per minute 8 customers arrive per every 10 minutes on an average therefore lambda is equal to 8 by 10 arrival rate is denoted by lambda next one the cashier can serve on average 1 per minute the cashier can serve on average 1 per minute 1 customer per minute the cashier can serve 1 per minute ok next rho is nothing but lambda by mu therefore 8 by 10 by 1 nothing but 8 by 10 therefore rho is equal to 8 by 10 what the question he is asking is the average number of customers in the system average number of customers in the system that is nothing but ls that means rho by 1 minus rho 8 by 10 by 1 by 1 minus 8 by 10 if you simplify you are going to get 4 the second question he is asking average q length that is lq that is nothing but ls minus rho that is equal to 4 minus 8 by 10 or 4 minus 4 by 5 that is nothing but 
द थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग एवरेज टाइम ए कस्टमर स्पेंड्स इन द सिस्टम एवरेज टाइम ए कस्टमर स्पेंड्स इन द सिस्टम वाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वन एवरेज टाइम ए कस्टमर स्पेंड्स इन द सिस्टम दट मीन ही वेट्स इन द क्यू टू बी ट्रीटेड बिफोर गोइंग टू द डॉक्टर एवरेज टाइम ए कस्टमर स्पेंड्स इन द सिस्टम मीन्स ईच पेशेंट विल वेट सम टाइम इन द क्यू लेट एस कंसिडर टेन मिनट्स ही विल वेट इन द क्यू एंड टू मिनट्स द डॉक्टर विल टेक द टू डायग्नाइज द पेशेंट दैट मीन्स टोटल ट्वेल्व मिनट्स दिस इज द कॉन्सेप्ट एवरेज टाइम ए कस्टमर स्पेंड्स इन द सिस्टम मीन्स टेन मिनट्स इन द वेटिंग टाइम एंड टू मिनट्स बीइंग served by the doctor dr diagnosed by the doctor therefore average time a customer spends in the system is this one waiting time plus service time De- therefore ws is equal to ls by lambda ls stands for 4 4 into 5 by 4 lambda therefore you will get 5 next question average time a customer spends in the queue average time a customer spends in the queue only we are considering the average time that a customer spends in the queue only that is equal to wq that is equal to lq by lambda so lq is how much 3.2 by lambda or 16 by 5 into 5 by 4 okay if you simplify you are going to get 4 so next if the question is probability that there are zero customers in the system zero customers in the system means 1 minus rho 1 minus 4 by 5 that is equal to 1 by 5 next question probability there are five customers in the system probability that there are five customers in the system means four customers are waiting in the queue and one is being treated by the doctor therefore probability of n is equal to 5 means rho power 5 into p not that is equal to rho 4 by 5 p not is 1 by 5 simplify you will get the answer similarly probability there is no q when you can say that there is no q p not plus p1 p not means zero customers p not means zero customers and p1 one customer being treated by the doctor zero customers in the system plus p1 is one being treated by the doctor if you simplify you will get the answer probability that there is there are more than two customers probability of n greater than or equal to 2 means 1 minus total probability is 1 1 minus n greater than or equal to 2 that means p not and subtract p1 you will get the answer okay thank you